Hello everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and this video is a quick start guide on the new Formula Z11 Pro Max, which is one of the best IPTV Android TV boxes available today. This new box comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage, four gigabytes of RAM, gigabit ethernet, USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports, micro SD card slot, customizable launcher with no ads, my tv online 3 iptv application full featured remote av1 codec support and much more this tutorial complements my in-depth unbiased review that you can access by clicking the link in the video description or open the camera app on your phone or tablet scan this qr code and that will also take you to the review as well now, I strongly suggest that you read my full review prior to purchasing this device to ensure that it is right for you. Okay, I've just powered on the Formula Z11 Pro Max. I'm going to choose English as my language. Now, I'm currently taking advantage of the gigabit port on the back of the device, so I'm going to click skip for this. But if you are using Wi-Fi, you're going to want to choose your Wi-Fi connection on this screen and set that up. I'm gonna choose automatic and there it shows my network summary and it shows that I am connected to the internet. Click OK, select region, for me that's America, Chicago. I'm not going to use 24 hour format. Click no for that, setup is complete. You gotta love how fast the setup process is on this device. Now, if there are any updates, as you see there on the screen, it will prompt you to install those immediately. And on the right side there, you will see the release notes for both the device and my TV online IPTV application as well. I'm going to click start upgrade. Formula is one of the few generic Android TV box manufacturers that actually support their products and push out regular updates, which is great to see. Device is restarting. Okay, the Formula Z11 Pro Max has booted back up. I'm going to move down, go back into software update, click that. I want to make sure that we are now on the latest and greatest, and it shows that we are. Now, one other thing I want to do, I'm going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to go into market. All right, I'm going to move down, hover over utilities, and I want to install the Formula Remote application. Click download. I am going to click open. And now I need to select my remote. I'm using this one here that comes with the device, GTV. IR1, and it's important to come in here to check for updates as well. If there is an update available, you will find that in this screen here. Since we don't see anything, it must be up to date. Now, the nice thing about this remote is you can set up hotkeys in here, and these various buttons appear on the remote control. Many people will use these hotkeys to launch their favorite applications. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to go into the color keys and I'm going to choose red. And I'll set this one to launch YouTube. So now whenever I click the red button on the remote, it will automatically launch YouTube. And then you can go ahead and set up these other colored buttons as well. Now one hidden feature that many people don't know about is the inclusion of a mouse toggle on the remote. To set that up, I'm going to choose this top hotkey option. I'm gonna choose single tap. And now I'm going to click mouse. And now when I click that button on the remote, and now you're gonna see we have this mouse toggle that we can use on various applications that we sideload that don't display properly or work well with remote control on the television screen. That's a great addition to this box. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the home screen. The next thing I want to do is install the free downloader application that will open up 
another world to us to where we can install our favorite third-party applications, or I should say side load. You're gonna see I'm still in mouse mode. I'm gonna click that button that I set up as the shortcut one more time, and that will take it out of mouse mode. I'm gonna go into Google Play, sign in. Okay, I'm gonna sign in with my Google credentials. All right, and you will see I'm now logged in, and we do have the true Android TV Google Play Store that's meant for the television experience. We don't have Google Play Store that we often find on phones and tablets that many of these generic boxes come with. This is the true Android TV experience, which is great to see. I'm gonna hover over search, move down, search for downloader. You'll see right when I type in D, it shows up below the search bar. I'm going to click Downloader and then click Install. I am going to click Open, and the reason I want to do that, I want to provide the proper permissions, so I'm going to click Allow, click OK, and I'm going to click the Back button a few times to exit out of the application. Go back to the home screen. Downloader is now in the list. Okay, I'm going to move down. We do need to turn on Unknown Services for Downloader, I'm going to go into Settings, Apps, Security and Restrictions, Unknown Sources. I'm going to highlight Downloader, click the Select button to turn on Unknown Sources. That will now allow us to install third-party applications not available through Google Play Store. All right, now that we're in the Settings, I am going to go back a few menus. I want to go into device preferences, go into about. I'm going to highlight build and I'm going to click this seven times. That's going to give me developer options. You are now a developer. I'm going to click the back button. Go into developer options. There are a few things I do want to change in here. window animation scale I'm going to change that to 0.5 transition 0.5 and animator 0.5 that's just going to make things much snappier when going through these various menus and screens and then within device preferences you can come into these various menu items and change these to your liking one big area right here is display and sound. You can change your HDR output mode, screen resolution. You can calibrate your screen if it's not showing up properly on your television with this button here. Go into advanced sound settings. I am going to change this and choose automatic. I want the Formula Z 11 Pro Max to determine the best audio format for my situation. And you will see screen resolution is already on auto for display mode. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the home screen. It's very easy to rearrange these various applications. All you have to do is highlight the application that you want to move, hold down on the select button of the remote for a few seconds, use the arrows, I'm going to put this at the front of the list, click the select button again, and that will drop it into place. And then if I click the select button again, it takes it out of move mode. Click the home button and we're back to where we were. Now, one of the cool things about the Formula Z11 Pro Max are the launcher settings. You can come into app groups here create two new app groups that will show up on the home screen of this device. All you have to do is come in here, choose the apps that you want to add to that specific section. Now, if for some reason after doing this, you're not seeing these applications showing up on your home screen, simply reboot the device. You have parental settings here. The default pin is 0, 0, 
zero zero and that will allow you to go in and change the pin you may want to use this within the my tv online 3 iptv application to block the adult categories you can choose a startup application to launch automatically when the system boots this is something that i really like here the customized channels option once we activate our IPTV service through the MyTV Online 3 application, you're going to have the ability to come into this area here and add your favorite IPTV channels, the ones that you mark as favorites within the IPTV app, and your most recent channels can add those to the home screen. This isn't populating right now because we haven't set up an IPTV service screenshot path for saving screenshots on the device and then advanced you can change the wallpaper of the launcher now i always like cleaning up applications that i won't use on these devices so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to go into settings apps see all apps i'm going to go through here and get rid of what i don't need i don't need express vpn i'm going to uninstall that And right now, that's really all that I need to uninstall. One thing that you're going to really like about this device is there's no bloatware. They don't include a lot of applications that you're not going to use. Okay, I'm going to go back to the home screen. One last thing I'm going to do is set up Surfshark VPN. I want to show you one cool feature regarding that. Yes, I can definitely install Surfshark through Google Play Store. However, I want the latest and greatest release. Usually, Google Play is a few versions behind. So I'm going to install this through Downloader. I'm gonna move up, click the Select button to open the keyboard, and I want to type in 46836. This is always pointing to the most recent stable release of the Surfshark application. Click install. I'm going to click open. I'm going to click log in. And I am going to use the code on the screen there. And I'm going to type that code into my Surfshark VPN application on my Windows PC. That's just an easier way to log in. Okay, I'm now logged into Surfshark. I'm going to move over, click quick connect. Click OK, and I am now connected and protected. OK, I go back to the home screen. I do want to move Surfshark to the front of my list. I'm going to highlight it, hold down on the Select button, drop it in the front of the list there. Now, one thing I want to point out is a nice feature that you will see in the top right-hand corner. You're going to see a key there. That means my VPN is currently active. Now there are some VPN widgets like this that we can install on third-party launchers, but due to the fact that we can't use a third-party launcher on the Formula Z11 Pro Max, this widget that shows up under the clock will definitely suit our needs. We can always just take a quick look up there to make sure that the VPN is active. And then to set up your IPTV service, all you need to do is go into My TV Online 3. Now, once you register for an IPTV service, within your welcome email, it's going to provide one of the two. Either portal login instructions, sometimes they refer to that as extreme codes, or an M3U URL. The easiest is portal if you have the option between the two. So there you go, guys. That is your quick start guide for the new Formula Z11 Pro Max. Again, be sure to take a look at my in-depth, unbiased review where I point out the good and bad regarding this Android TV box. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I drop new tutorials like this in the future. Have an awesome day, and thanks for following Troy Point.